lost land. <laughs> There's a liberty. Um, I don't know why it's called. It just looks scary. It's a, it's a lake. It looks nasty. Yeah, it's dirty. It doesn't look clean at all. It's a reservoir, I think. No, it's a lake. It's a this lake. This looks like a reservoir. Yeah. It's not dirty because of garbage. It's just like a stones. It looks artificial lake. Artificial. Yeah, because look at this area. It gets dumped.
and this is the best gift ever. Do you have my ticket too? So we were in what is it called? Sky. Royal Gorge? No, the sky, the one the zip, line. zip line, and it was super scary. And you just riding from this gondola, the north gondola, until the south gondola, and you pass Braid is um, what is it called? Hills or valley or whatever is that called? <laughs> you were super fast and super scary, but we have a good time. That was the bridge. tempat rekreasi ini sebenarnya bagus banget and they said this is not holiday season and you can imagine if holiday season in here is gonna be so full of people here and super hot of course um, well because American doesn't know Eid Idul Fitri so they don't have any this kind of thing so because this is our Idul Fitri so we feel like this is ours you know like all the place all of this place is ours you know like private so that's a good thing because um if we are in indonesia Han, in idol fitri season oh my god there's gonna be a ton of people here like pile of people like a leaf that leave in the ground like ton of them <laughs> because last year I was in Indonesia and then they took me to Cirebon and ton of people in there don't know what they're doing but they came from all of the city so this is really huge area um karena hari ini um, spring, still spring, so the weather is very nice. It's cool, but not cold. And I can imagine if summertime, right? Holiday season is gonna be super really hot. So there's no people here, there's only us. We are going to the big bridge. So, yes, take a look. The bridge will pass through the bridge to be there. I'm gonna make wood and pray first. It's really neat design. Yeah. Let's go for the closer. I think so. So this is all this um, flag of United States. And then what is this? Rhode Island. It's Rhode Island, South Carolina. Oh my. Here. Here we have it. <laughs> Wait, Wait, is it is it, is it a palm? It has a palm tree. Palm That's tree with um moon. And Sylvania looks like a Malaysia. Oh you gotta record that. Oh yeah. And what about this? Oregon. Wait, what is Oregon? Is it turtle? What is this animal, hun? Oh my god, I'm so shaking. Oh, the river rafting, look. Oh, do they have it? Oh my god, my hands shaking and my feet shaking to sit down. I thought I'm brave enough to do high, but apparently not. That's the gondola we win.
which is great. Zip right quick. For a giant swing. Oh yeah. Oh my god, it's snowy. Oh my god. It's called Giant Canyon Swing. It's a giant swing there. It was like scary. Looks like a kora kora in um Jakarta, hun. Um, but this is just only two. It looks like a more adventurous and also it's the snowy so that's why more scary and he said like we are in the 430 feet sorry 4030 no 4300 feet right no, 1000 something <laughs> oh my god he's so high because we are in the mountain <laughs> it's totally <still> wet <sighs> Finally we rest. So we were in the top of the mountain. Oh, it's beautiful. There's a light here. And then the right is super fast and curvy and they're not allow us to um, record a video. So we come back to the top slowly. So that's why I feel like, okay, this is it for recording. So yeah, I think they're open at the night because they have a light in here. Yeah, that's right. Close at five. Oh, okay. Well, because of winter, right? Winter day. So right here, it's interesting. Here it's rain, but over there it's snow. It's I like think the, the temperature. Yeah, yeah. The temperature. Yeah. So in the top is snow. And here it's just like <laughs> wet, sucking wet rain. like 4 p.m. already dark, right? <laughs> So... Uh -huh.
Okay. And then a uh, good fair warning, you know, a lot of slippery spots, uneven spots to the floors. Don't, don't fall on the floor. It leads to paperwork. Okay. Also, you're pretty tall, my man, but we're pretty short, man. Yeah. <laughs> still run into something with our face. More likely you, but still possible for all of us. Don't do that. It's bad for your face. It also leads Kid to... Rocks. Pay uh, I make up about 95% of the caves on the planet, so... Okay. Yeah. And now the bumpy rock you're seeing is what we call cave popcorn or cauliflower. And uh, the smooth rock is what yeah, we refer to as flowstone. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Pretty much what we're going to see in uh, the most of the, the cave here is this popcorn. We don't really see too many other formations. All that stuff was broken back in the day. Oh. Yeah. What happened? Or quick? Well, the cave was discovered a while ago, and people back in the day, over 100 years ago, didn't really know how caves work, so they would take things home with them. Mm -hmm. Break a rock and be like, oh, cool, I'll be back in a year. No problem. Somebody else can do it. It's not like millions of years. For... About uh, uh, here in our cave, it's like thousands of years per cubic inch of formations. So like, um, you know, let's see. Like right here is an example. You get that little stalactite. You see forming stalactite. Yeah. See mm -hmm. for ceiling there. Um, about a thousand years to form a cubic inch of growth on those things. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. Other places, you know, was like, you know, over on the East Coast, more water and more moisture. It could be a lot faster of a growth rate. But Colorado is usually much drier than this. So. Is the darkness from people touching it? I mean, it's more of uh, the the water. Mm -hmm. A lot of crawling and some exploration and stuff. So, um, yeah, you're crawling around quite a bit, and occasionally get to rooms you can stand. You know, like this. Uh, the reason this cave is so big and these large spaces for Colorado is really due to those hot springs waters. Mm -hmm. That being right here is a key component to why this cave is so big. Give you guys an idea. Colorado kind of has the name Colorado amongst like the caving people because mm -hmm. usually you're crawling around everywhere you go in here, small tunnels, pathways like that. So, and there is a lot of that, like even behind all of this, uh, so you know, lots going on. Mm -hmm. So the acid just comes down and melts all the limestone. Oh yeah, uh, well, the, the back in the day it was uh, coming from underneath really the hot spring oh. waters, oh, from wow. geothermal vents under the earth. Nah, then there is some acids that do come from the top as well. It's uh, something called carbonic acid. You get that when water mixes with dead plant and animal material. And that's the same thing in like soda pop, which is not strong in sulfuric acid, but it does do some things. Nowadays, carbonic acid is really just what makes the formations, uh, like the little stalactites you're seeing, that carries uh, the minerals through the earth. And once it touches a cave wall through a pressure change, uh, it deposits the minerals behind, and then the water just becomes water and it does whatever it wants. A small space, like, you know, I'm right here, there's a wall right here, and I try to like, my body, right? So I'm crawling, rocks behind me, dead end. I'm gonna turn around. Well, I mean, I, there's rocks right mm -hmm. here too. And I'd say I try to turn around and then I get myself stuck. Because oh. now my body is in a. Oh, now it's a video. Hello? Say. Hi. No, I just wanna. Oh, did it switch modes? It switched to a video. So it's all airflow regulation, right? The name of the game here. Oh, another really big room with all those mineral names up on the ceiling and stuff there. Yeah. You guys ready to see something really cool though? What? Are you prone to passing out or fainting due to seeing really exciting things? <laughs> I don't know how to do shit. Yeah, don't fall over me. I'll, I'll, I'm not gonna fall, but I just scream. That's, if good. I... That's good with me. It's a giant monster. Really? Giant monster. Oh my god. It's uh, <laughs> Bob Saget. Bob yeah. Saget. <laughs> <laughs> Bob Saget's hiding in there. Oh my god. And you ready? Uh. Boom. Look at that old ear. Yeah, it's, it's just a light bulb. That oh was an exciting god. thing. Yeah. You trick us again. Are you shocked? Yeah, keep it up. Oh, it's like. We should have done is like have it where you close the door after the people go and then just like stand there. <laughs> I lose out. <laughs> oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> sometimes when I have like giant, like 20 people in here, I'll just walk in here and I'll just sometimes like just stand in silence with them. Just look at them and they just all stare at me. Like, I'm supposed <laughs> That's to do so something. It's, it's fun. It is. That's what I do. I just make it awkward. It's great. So. So there's no troll, right? Or mm -hmm. prisoner? <laughs> yeah, no troll or Bob Saget, unfortunately. So, uh, um, oh Tom Cruise hiding in here? No Tom Cruise. <laughs> I mean, he would be able to hide out pretty pretty easy. I think he's shorter than I am. I think he's like 5'5". Five, five. He's in the rocks. He's kind of a crazy guy, right? Yeah, probably. I'd imagine. Now the bacon here, you can see some different colors. It's showing us the different minerals. The reds, the oranges, the browns we're finding. That's iron and, or some rust. And the lighter color is calcite mineral. 
all the formations for you to find. Pretty cool. Take and they are even up in everything else. They just need to get some more exploration going on. So they have the three and a half miles currently mapped out, but they know there's much more going on. So I'll call them what I want, what I really, really want. Ma'am? I want it. I want it. <laughs> if you want to take my cake toy. <laughs> First, you got to be my... Babe. <laughs> Friend. Okay. Friend. Yeah. This is the Spice Girls. Right? So. <laughs> but guys, what we're seeing here is uh, that same effect you guys saw in the other cave tour. Okay. You guys might see if you do that one. Uh, it's called fluorescence and phosphorescence. The initial glow we're seeing off the rocks is fluorescence. And then when I shut off the lights and the rocks continue to emit some light and glow, that is phosphorescence. And what happens is the UV light rays from the black lights will react with the impurities in the calcite mineral. The uh, UV light rays will make the electrons in that mineral, uh, the orbit increases, and then we get to see light emitted back because of it. So, science. <laughs> and your dreams come true. <laughs>